there's 100% a two-tier approach to drugs. So, for instance, a lot of the people pushing now to legalise marijuana are your lovely, respectable, middle-class people who've picked up marijuana in the last five to ten years and don't like the idea they're doing something illegal. So now they're pushing to make it legal. A lot of your people who, who, who take cocaine are your very well-heeled city types, suburban types who have the money. They don't commit crime. They have decent jobs. They have families. They have homes that they own. But what they forget, both of those groups of people forget, is there's a huge amount of crime, an absolute avalanche of crime connected to the drug um, buying environment. So you may not be a criminal, you, you may have a very respectable job, but the cocaine you bought, how many, how many people are injured or died to deliver that to your nose? Quite a few. You talk about weed and it's, it's harmless and all of that. How many young people are suffering from psychosis because of, of weed? How many young people have been involved in delivering that weed, have been bullied, have been trafficked, have been used for county lines so that you can have some weed on a Friday night? There's definitely a two-tier thing a two-tier approach, and I want to make this point, there's no such thing as woke coke. You know, people talking about, you know, paying the growers. What about all of the criminal activity in between? And that will never go away. And the idea that you legalise and that your, your, your criminal gangs, you know, down tools and become respectable people overnight is utter nonsense utter nonsense. They will just find other ways to work in an even bigger market now because it's legal. The single most harmful drug in the world, or certainly in Britain, is alcohol. There's many, many more alcoholics than there is drug, drug users. But what's the difference between Class A drugs or Class B drugs and alcohol? Availability, legalisation. Now, people say, oh, well, you no, know, alcohol's legal, but that's historic. It's too late for that. Yeah. If you now legalise, you know, marijuana, c cocaine, you will destroy communities, particularly poor communities. How do you think we can address this two-tier problem? <laughs> I remember when I ran for mayor, I suggested that we should drug test, you know, bankers, um, insurance people. You know, if you drive a forklift truck, we'll give you a drug test to make, to make sure you don't endanger anyone. If you're in charge of my pension, you're just as much risk to me as you are someone in a forklift truck. And I remember when I, when I suggested this, because it's, it's routinely done in America and other places around the world, there was an absolute outrage. Oh, uh, and what was interesting is the outrage w was, for want of a better, better term, a very middle class outrage. It was in certain newspapers, in certain websites, you know, and, and I wanted to say to those people, I'm glad you enjoy your drugs, and I'm sure you don't consider yourself a menace to society, but you're, you're involved in the single biggest activity that, that, that drives criminal activity in London for, for sure, which is, to my mind, which is, is drugs in general. And I, when I started saying that to people, they didn't like that idea. They didn't want to be confronted with it. But it's reality of that. And in order to make it two-tier, I think we, we need to appeal to people's um, sort of better judgment, you know. I know you enjoy cocaine, but, but do you enjoy putting people at risk? Because that's what you do every time you take cocaine. Bear that in mind before you buy some more.